At the University of Alabama, there's a new lab where you can't even hear the sound of a pin drop. When you get into this room and you're talking to somebody, you notice immediately that there's no background level. But when you stay in here for an extended period, even five minutes or longer, your mind starts going, okay, where's all that background noise that I'm used to processing? It's not there. What am I supposed to be doing? Dr. Steve Shepard is talking about UA's new hemianechoic chamber, a soundproof room where researchers can take acoustic measurements without having to worry about the effects of echoes or outside noise. Anechoic is if, okay, if I put a sound source here and I turn it on, the sound goes out to the walls, like in your, in your bedroom, it would bounce off of the, the plaster walls and the sound would come back to you and you'd hear those echoes. These walls, though, absorb all of the sound. And that's good when you're trying to create a new acoustic sensor that will allow its users to accurately locate a sound source. Currently, no such sensor exists, but with a grant from the National Science Foundation and the new hemianechoic chamber, Dr. Shepard is hoping to change all that. Is it something that you would say set on the ground, you would start using it and it would sit there and monitor acoustic signals. And then if it heard something, it would say, okay, I've picked up an acoustic signal and it's coming from this direction. Dr. Shepard says once a sensor is developed, it will be useful in aiding the military, homeland security, and in emergency rescue efforts like those that took place in New York after 9-11. There's the potential that, you know, a rescue team goes through an area, they look for people, they do as, as good a job as they can, and then they have to move on, when, especially when it's a mass catastrophe. Well, suppose they had a sensor that they could leave behind that would sit there and just listen. And then it would say, oh, I heard something, and it came from that direction. Well, then when the rescue teams come back, oh, well, we picked up a signal, and not only do we pick up a signal in this area, we know it came from over here. Let's go concentrate our efforts over here. So that's kind of a, a, a dream application of what we have and one of the things that motivates us in, in de developing this sensor. And while the new acoustic sensor may still be years away, it wouldn't be possible at all without UA's new quiet room. I'm Shane Dorrell reporting.